So the, the title of the show is The Infinitely Dense Atom Experiment. And uh, I came up with that idea watching a documentary about the universe. And uh, I've always had some fascination with the goings on of the, the universe. Um, there's theories out there that the creation of the universe started from an infinitely dense atom or, or singularity and from that was the Big Bang and from the Big Bang creation, it was the creation of time and space and everything that we know and I found that really an interesting topic and not only from the science side of things but from the side that if all of creation came from this infinitely dense atom then everything in our known universe is connected. We're connected to the stars and probably like many people have heard before, we are made up of stardust and that is, that is the truth. We are made up of stardust. Everybody's connected, everything's connected and we should, we should realize that and respect, respect things a lot more than maybe we do. Um, I've had a lot of fun putting this, this show together. Um, just going in at night after learning about different facts about the universe and uh, going in at night to my studio and putting music on and, and I just start creating and these, these thoughts I've been having all, all day and seem to just come out and uh, swirling atoms and molecules and things fusing together to create uh, a star and uh, so that's kind of my ideas around around this show so September 2009, I went to Japan and was in an art exhibition called the Ome Art Jam. Um, I was the only invited artist from Canada and North America. <laughs> the other invited artists were four artists from Thailand and one from Laos, and they were Thai, uh, textile artists. Um, which was uh, really interesting to, to learn about their techniques and uh, be involved and involved with them. Um, it was a, it was a real great experience for me. I got to have uh, a couple pieces up in the Ome City Art Museum in a group show with uh, some amazing Japanese artists and the textile artists. Um, I. Uh, also got to teach a workshop there. Um, there was one day we have there as a workshop day where all the artists involved in, in the show uh, spread out in, in an area, Akatambo, Red Dragonfly, along this river in this beautiful area. And everyone spreads out and, and teaches their workshops. And uh, I got to teach a workshop. My workshop was spontaneity art. Um, ink drawings and, and watercolor and we, we had a lot of fun doing that and met some really interesting people. I also had a, uh, a solo show at Shozenkaku which is a um, Japanese rokan which is a Japanese uh, traditional inn and just a beautiful, beautiful spot, beautiful place. Um, and 
that was uh, really um, interesting and I had a great time doing that. Um, since I got back from Japan, I've been just really uh, inspired from my trip, inspired by being a part of the exhibition and uh, being treated like this international artist, <laughs> which was uh, just a, just uh, great for any anybody to do something like that. Um, but I've been really busy uh, painting since I got back, inspired from uh, being a part of the event and, and uh, just being over there and being around all the wonderful art over there and, and inspired by seeing how some of these uh, amazing artists were, are, are working and how they were doing their work too. Um, so part of my show is, is, you know, there's a little element of, uh, of being inspired from Japan. <laughs>